Kenyans have an appetite. They gravitate towards an empty space. You see an empty space somewhere and you want to go for it, eh? without caring to find out who the owner of the empty space is. That healthy appetite coupled with the scarcity of the land resource is the source of many conflicts over land ownership that often leads to the grabbing of land both public and private. The land grabs are usually aided and executed by groups of young, unemployed and armed people. Tangwa jinambili kuna kwa gana kazi inaitua bumburusha na kuna vurugu. Sasa vurugu ni ile ya labda mwana siyasa mikuja kwa mta, mna vuruga akiwalipa, mna vuruga. Lakini yo bumburusha na kwa land imegrabiwa, mnaenda kubumburusha wa watu huko, mna grab that land, then mna, mna pewa kenya, mna pewa. These gangs often leave death and destruction in their wake. The perpetrators are often crafty businessmen and well-connected politicians, sometimes so well-connected that not even other government agencies can touch them. These young men are doing it at, uh, I don't know why they are doing it uh, freely like that without the other state organs, security organs. I'm very concerned any form of violent invasion or even peaceful invasion of people's land, be it community land, be, they, be it private land, is totally unwelcome. While the illegalities of the actions of these groups is not in doubt, what is however clear is the seeming government complacency in dealing with the problem. The Ministry of Lands, however, is promising stern action against these groups. We must work very closely with the Ministry of Interior and the coordination of national government, Wanangaizeri and especially the county commissioners at county level yeah? and the people below them to make sure that again those people have nowhere to hide. Although the Ministry of Land maintains that there are policies in place that govern the allocation of land in Kenya, it is highly likely that the unemployed youth of the country will continue being misused by crooked politicians and businessmen to carry out their mission. That is until and unless the government moves to rein in the impunity with which their suspects operate. At the same time, the National Lands Commission has warned the public against buying land located within the parcel of land claimed by the Portland Cement Company, saying that will be tantamount to throwing away their money. Today we, we, we have an agreement with the, with the relevant organizations. Either people will be evicted from there, or the, the ministry will have to take over the land, the Portland Cement will have to take their land. The disputed piece of land in Mavoko was the latest case where the youth gangs had been used to attempt to grab the land. Brenda Wanga, NTV.